die laughing. Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi De Saluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome indeed. When I tell you, I wish you guys could be here because I'm packing up the studio. That's why I look so bare. And I'm wearing black with all of this white, all of this IKEA furniture. Do we love the beat? Do we love the heat? Do we love the fit and loops? When I tell you I'm living and loving my best life because these are pieces that I bought years ago and finally they fit. They finally fit. So this fabulous heat wave of an eyeshadow is by Morphe, the Morphe palette. I got this just the other day. 35T, it says. And it says what? Sweetest tea. And it's really tea that we're serving today. <laughs> I am enjoying it. I'll tell you in a minute. Anyway, it's this red and orange. I put the red on the lid all the way and then I put like the orange right by the tear duct to give it that flaming flamour. So this, my darlings, is a leather top. I love and live for it. And you just kind of slide yourself in. I am wearing a strapless bra, one of my bras that I like and it's really... Oh. Anyway. You, a strapless bra and then I should get up I should get up I should get up so there you have it my darlings it's got like this drawstring here which you can pull it and make it really sexy in but um, we're not doing that we're gonna keep it copacetic and keep it slimmed in <laughs> okay what's happening Kevin Hunter is selling his things yes 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 so we hear now you know he was trying to get his alimony payments reinstated from our beautiful Wendy Wendy right now is in a wellness center she's taking care of herself taking care of her health her son had come out ever so recently and talked about certain people taking advantage of his mother and he's not for it he's not feeling it he's not liking it whatsoever but Kevin who had a baby on Wendy apparently the relationship with that mama is not going so well they're not kind of following each other on social media because the money has dried up because the money has what because the money has dried up because here was Kevin with these big dreams yes I'm going to have a restaurant yes I'm going to have a car wash so so and so yes I'm going to write books and all of these fabulous things nobody cares about you Kevin nobody cared about you when we cared about you nobody cared about you then we cared about you because you are an extension of Wendy because Wendy loved you so because we loved Wendy we kind of extended any kind of leftover attention towards you not even to you to the Sun so why you thought you had the confidence that you could just sit here and bleed Wendy dry? Ha 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 ha. Not happening. Wendy needs time to heal. Wendy needs time to get herself together again. Whether that will mean that she'll come back onto television, which I hope and pray that she does because I've said to you guys before, Wendy, come get well. You are strong. I love you. Let's get these shows together. Let me come on your show. You come on mine and let's do these hard topics. I think that um, sincerely, sincerely, Wendy, it's not so much that we wish you well and we do. We just want you back. We want you back to who and what you were. And if you were struggling and you were suffering, come back and don't do the show. Just come back and be in a good place for your son. For your useless, worthless, wretched, no good, cheating husband. Well, we are here smiling. <laughs> He's not doing so well. He's not doing so well. As a matter of fact, I don't know what's worse. To be fully aware of your disastrous situation or to be in bliss about your disastrous situation. I don't know. I think I would like to be in a situation where I'm oblivious of how disastrous my life is. <laughs> Kevin's not doing well. He's selling the house. The house is fabulous. And that was what he was sitting on for Wendy to keep on churning and burning and giving him payments so that he could live that kind of way. Kevin, you have the nerve. When I saw the house, 
you have the nerve. You know why you have the nerve, Kevin? Let me tell you why you have the nerve. You have the nerve because you weren't paying that kind of lifestyle for yourself. You have the nerve that you wanted to put that kind of monkey on anybody's back to live like that. You also have the nerve to think that we are as stupid as you. Honestly, honestly, because you, you have to be that stupid to think that you could get away with living like this until the end of your days. Very stupid. No sense. None whatsoever. None at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'm so happy. I'm so glad to hear that everything has gone belly up for you. Even the relationship, I don't remember her name. Shani, Shari, I can't remember her name. Whatever the name was. Girlfriend has even left you. She would have been, I mean, who would stay with you, Kevin? Just, just I mean, think about it. You know, you're a hot mess. You don't have nothing. Nothing at all. Who would stay with you? She gone. She gone with the baby. So you're going to pay, you know, upkeep for her and the kid. Oh, see how the rules have changed. Look at how everything has switched up on you. Yeah, I just recently read it. And I said to myself, for me, wear black. But you're not mourning. Wear black and stand up for what is right up in these streets. Because a lot of you tell me, they say, for me, you know what? We can't be uh, Bob the Builder with these guys. Because when you bring a guy up like this, this is what he's going to do to you. That he's an example. Wendy did it. And look at where it got her. I hear you, my darling sisters. This guy didn't have no kind of potential from the gate. You gotta watch him. So yeah, he's selling the house. He's selling the car. He wasn't able to get any kind of coin. He didn't deserve it. Didn't deserve it. He couldn't get any coin and he's out. And this is going to be the beginning of the reality for Kevin. You absolutely deserve it, Kevin, for everything and anything that you did to Wendy. Yes, you do. And I tell you why. Let's even push aside the relationship that you had and the baby you had on her. The second you saw that my woman, Wendy, is not doing too well, you should have pumped the brakes. You should have gone up to the studio heads and said, my wife is not doing well. I don't think um, we should put too much pressure on her. I think that we should slow down. Or, you know what, record these shows in one or two days so that she can have three, four days break. Wendy, I got you. You should have been there for her. You should have been there for her. You should have emptied every alcohol bottle in that house. You should have let her rest. You should have taken away her phone. You should have laid in bed with her. Yes, you should have. You should have been up there with her and laughed with her. You should have made sure that somebody came in to give her massages. You should have made salads for her. You should have gone with walks with her. You should have loved her the way she loved you. You should have loved her the way so many people love her. She was the hen that laid the golden egg and she provided for you and you greedy, heartless, selfish, no good of a husband, I don't know about a father, but of a husband, you went ahead and you groveled and grabbed and snatched everything you could have before she dropped to the ground and vultures took advantage of her. That's what I'll say, and that's what I know as facts. You took her to court because you wanted more money, because you felt that you deserved the money, because as far as you're concerned, you made her. And that's what's sad, because if these are the examples of marriages and relationships, I come out here as an influencer to report the news. And really, I, I do get upset that I have to report stuff like this that I can't really have in the papers a good marriage a solid marriage relationship where you are going through hard things but you're doing it together it's just sad because the generation behind doesn't have a guide they don't have a guide they have you and I'm gonna put you out on blast on the spot I'm happy you're selling everything I hope you're selling it for less than half it's worth for everything across the board that you live in the most sorriest of states because that is what you did to your family and by extension you did to your son
And by extension, you did to everything that could have been good. You scavenged it because you couldn't put your little third leg in your pants, because you couldn't lay your heart out and say to yourself, I belong to this woman. I belong to this young man. This is where my life is. And even though it's hard, I don't go nowhere. I stay here and I ride it out. Because when the good times are good, they're great. And when the bad times are bad, we're here together. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the notification button, my darlings. And I will see you when? I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love. Thank you.